Cleaning a coin is controversial because it usually damages the coin and removes the original patina, thus destroying the original look of an old or new coin and lowering market values. Cleaning has been a method of restoring a coin forever, and there are many ways to achieve that. Abrasives such as baking soda can do the trick, and scrubbing the coin can result in hairlines or small scratches. Polishing can make the coin appear more lustrous, but it can also remove mass from the coin. Dipping in solutions can remove oxidation and plain old soft soap and water can also work, depending on how dirty the coin is. Although increasing luster is usually the main reason people clean coins. There are other ways, but a numismatist should know to avoid cleaning a coin unless it is an extreme case and the coin doesn't have much numismatic value. I have a 1892 double eagle which appears to not have been cleaned. These double eagles survived the 1933 recall and weren't destroyed. Because of their numismatic value, cleaning such a coin would destroy a lot of value. Unfortunately, I also have a 1867 which has been cleaned and it even weighs a small fraction less than an MS-60 specimen due to the cleaning and maybe even wheezing. Let's examine both coins and determine where we can find evidence of cleaning. First, there are hairline scratches all over the 67. These small lines are signs of cleaning and they look unnatural. That's a telltale sign of clean coins. The luster on the 92 is very natural, as light bounces off the coin in a geometric way. It sure is beautiful, and a great part of the original luster is present. But if we take a look at the 67, the luster is uniform and quite bright. It is unusual. It looks polished, and that's because it is. Another big problem is missing detail on the devices. Look at the hair on the 92. It is very detailed and the strands complement the coin quite well. Now look at the 67. The strands are missing. Part of the hair appears detailed on parts of the coin, but this particular area has lost a lot of mass. No coin this lustrous would have so many marks. It is inconsistent. A pluribus unum on the ribbon in the back is messed up. This was probably a result of cleaning the devices. Maybe the cleaner meant well, trying to improve the piece, but he destroyed part of it instead. Always think twice before cleaning a coin. You could lose serious money. You will encounter issues when grading, so let that coin be. Even a toothpick can damage a coin. That's why you should always use flips and capsules and keep them safe. Your gold or silver coin just may be more fragile than you think. That's it for now. Subscribe for there's new unique content coming. Awesome stuff. Gold is magic. Don't clean it. Thank you so much.